options today. If you don't have hand weights at home, don't worry, you don't have to use any equipment at all. Um, maybe just some floor space and mat if you have one handy. Um, and grab a couple different resistance options. So you'll see Adrian might be picking up heavier ones, lighter ones. You might see Spencer as well. So do what feels good to you. Lose any resistance if you need and just try your best to stay in the workout. But we're gonna dedicate these next 30 minutes to those two areas of the body, which who doesn't love to trade back? Pam's here, Aubrey's here, Petra's here. Hello everybody. We're glad you joined us. I know they're ready to go. All right, I think we're ready. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right, have a great workout, everybody. We're gonna start with just your body weight. So have room on the floor around you, feet outside hips and your chest lifted, let's squat. Just on your time, just sit and stand. All right, so strength training. We're gonna start to fire up the heart rate. So push your knees in line with your toes. Keep your abs in tight. All right, now two pulses at the bottom, and then stand up. So two pulses and rise. Push your hips all the way back and down to knee level. All right, now drop and hold. Stay here, stomach in, chest up, arms forward, and just pulse. Now, you can raise up a little bit for less intensity, or you can sit your hips back and down for a little bit more. You got eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, good. Stand up. All right, step your feet under hips, back stepping lunges. We're gonna go alternating legs. Take a long step back. Drop the back knee and keep your chest lifted. Good, keep going. So from the side view, take a long step back. Heel in the back is lifted. Drop down to get the front thigh parallel, chest lifted. Step and switch. All right, take this side back. When you get there, drop down to lunge and just pulse. All right, so let's check in. Get that bottom knee down. Push your front knee out so you always see the big toe in front. And don't forget, it's all about the glutes right now, so squeeze. We're going to start to burn really fast. Can you get a little lower? Four, three, two, switch legs. Step in, step back, drop down, chest up, pulse. All right, now we want these pulses to be little inch movements up and down. Are you squeezing your butt? Is your front heel pushing down? Of course. All right, hang on, set your shoulders back. Let's go. Four, three, two, step in, shake it out. All right, now I'm gonna let you choose if you're ready. Grab some weights. If you don't have any, no problem. Or anytime through the workout, if you need to stop, you can. All right, we're gonna side lunge. So reach down and stand up. We're gonna stay with the same side. Now as you reach the weights down, keep your chest up, squeeze your butt to stand, and push through the side foot to help bring you right back up vertically. All right, you guys got it? Switch legs. So step and reach. Now if you're not using the weights, you can still reach your hands down. Push your hips all the way behind you. Push through that foot to rise. One more time. All right, bring your feet all the way together. Squeeze your knees, squeeze your ankles, chest up, squats. So push your knees straight ahead. Squeeze your butt all the way to the top. All right, are we getting warm? No doubt the heart should be raised up nice and high. So, big muscles in our body that burn a lot of calories for us. Push your heels into the floor, take it down and pulse. Eight, seven, six, can you squeeze your knees tight? All right, now stay low, hold at the bottom, step your feet wide, take the weights between. We want a wide stance, lift your chest, pulse. Now, can you pick up on your toes and press your heels down really deep? Zip the belly, tuck under your tailbone. Can you push your knees a little bit wider and see if you can drop a little lower? Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
30. Now just single squats. Go down, go up. Woo. Now again, same thing. Alignment's everything. So drive your knees out. Squeeze your butt super tight to the top. Four left. One more time. All right, step in, shake out your legs. We're gonna move right into deadlifts. So with the weights forward, shoulders back, chest lifted, we're gonna bend the knees, slide down, and rise up. Down and up. So from the side, back is straight, hinge from the hips, keep the weight super close to the legs. All right, now the key is to squeeze your butt all the way up to the top. So what we want to avoid is rounding your shoulders forward. So as you stand, lead with your heart. And press those heels way down. Now, can you keep going, but keep your legs straight? Try not to bend the knees. And squeeze your hips all the way forward. All right, same thing. Let's go for your final four. Last two. And then one more time. You got it. All right, take your feet wide. As wide as you feel comfortable going, put a weight in both hands. Turn your toes out, side to side. All right, I love side bends. We're gonna move into the core just a bit. All right, what I want you to notice is how far you're going down the side of the leg. With or without resistance, your goal is to get to the same spot every time, and hopefully both right and left are hitting the same side. All right, now we're gonna stay to this side only. Go down and up, go down and up. All right, now don't forget to keep squeezing your butt so your hips push forward. And if you want to integrate some upper body training, as you draw, press up. Now you don't have to add this movement, but it's a great way to continue to shape even the shoulder and put more load on the side of the body. All right, four left. Punch high, get all the way down. Last two. Side bend to the other side only. Just bend, go down and up. All right, Spencer, you're hanging on. Oh yeah. Sure, sure, Adrian. That looks good. All right, you guys ready? Push. Go up and down. Now, notice how much more challenging that is. You're going to stress all the way up through the side body as you punch up. So again, be smart, move smart, move safe, and then train hard. Give me two more of these. Great work. All right, shake it out. Put the weights down. If you're feeling ultra strong today and you want to keep them, you can. All right, let's pull squat down. Take your feet wide. Just watch. You're going to turn, come back to middle every time. So double pulse lunge, double pulse squat. Lunge. Now, as you transition from squat to lunge, stay at the same level. Try not to raise up. And your pivot foot, lift your heel to drop the knee and then anchor the heel back down. All right, now it's gonna get really hot. Stay in the lunge and pulse for eight, seven. See if you can get your back knee really close to the floor. Back to squat pulses. Turn and lunge, last round. Woo! All right, legs are fired up now. All right, now stay in the pulse squat, stay here, eight. Seven, six, five, last chance, get low. Three, two, shake out your legs. Shake out the legs. All right, back to the white stance. Same thing's gonna happen, but we're gonna double pull squat, double pull slash. All right, let's go. Turn, pivot, lift your heel, drop the knee. Two here, two here. 
Alright, now don't forget, keep your chest lifted. Fatigue's in, kick in. But when the legs are hot, like you're feeling right now, this is when we're really going to change. So legs, glutes, because I know you're squeezing. Stay in the lunge and pulse right here for eight, seven. Get as low as you can. All right, back to the pull squat. Pull sludge, hang on. Just a few more rounds. Don't forget, lift that heel, pivot on the balls of your toes, and then set it back down. All right, let's finish this. Pull squats only, arms here, arms here. And if you feel good, take them overhead. Too much, you can always bring your hands down. Whew, can you zip the core? Eight, seven. Push into the floor and shake it out. Whoa, great work. All right, let's have some fun now. Come on down to the mat, kneeling. All right, you pick the leg that's forward and the leg that's down. Feel secure, chest up. All right, take your back toe. You ready for this one, Adrian? I know it's hard, but we're really gonna tap into the booty, so hang on tight. I want you to stay challenged today here. Up an inch, lightly touch. Lift an inch, lightly touch. All right, now, what's your inch look like? Keep going, try not to lift too high. We wanna keep the load right there at the weakest part of the movement. Now, little pulses, kiss the floor. Set your shoulders back. All right, if you're gritting your teeth, you're doing it right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop. Oh, God. Woo. All right, is it as dramatic at home as it is in here? Let's switch. All right, heel down, back heel lifted, arms up. You're not cheating here, but you're still working. Burns, touch, lift, touch. All right, now, did you switch legs? Yeah. Of course, okay, good. Are you squeezing your butt? Can you set your shoulders back? Woo! Now keep going. Remember, don't lift too high. It's about that small little lift. It makes a huge change. Ready? Are you ready, Spencer? Yeah. All right. Welcome to crazy training. Pulses, little kisses. Touch the floor, touch the floor, touch. Touch it, you can. All right, ready? Squeeze your butt super tight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, drop. Oh Woo! That's good, right? Good stuff, everybody. All right, so make your way down. Bridges, we all love bridges. Lay on your backs. All right, now I got a challenge. For those of you that like resistance, take your weights. Place them right on top of your lap. Now the key is don't let your arms hold them up. Just use your hands to help keep the weights from rolling. Bridge. Up. Down. Alright, press your heels deep into the floor. And just like the ladies behind me, you're squeezing your butt cheeks as high as you can to press all the way up onto your shoulders. Whew. All right, now keep rolling. It's all about the glutes now. So when you come down, don't touch the floor. Keep your hips slightly lifted, otherwise you're cheating. All right, at the top, we pulse, pulse. And any time, if the weights are too much, put them down and just keep tucking under the shoulders, keep squeezing. Eight, seven, six, how high can you go? Final four. Chill. All right, continues to get better. Shake out your legs. No weights, everybody. No weights. Pull your heels in. Squeeze your butt and lift. All right, what's better than a two-legged bridge? A simple leg bridge. So tuck under your shoulders. Ready? Pick a leg. Up. How are you doing? Good? Oh, oh. Who's ever been this entertained at home? Today might be the day. All right, now let's do this. Press your heel down and take the bottom of your foot and high five the ceiling. Hey, if it ever gets too much, simply put both feet on the floor. Like me? Yeah, sure, that's a great option. Thank you. Options. Eight, 
seven, six, five. Drive the heel to the ceiling. Now keep your hips up, change legs. Press your heel to the floor. Lift your heel to the ceiling. There's your hamstrings. Squeeze your body go. Oh, up, up. All right, now we're focusing on lifting, not dropping. So how high can you lift? Pressing high into, I know it feels like the drop. All right, get, you dip the floor with the heel of your foot. Woo, hang on to this feeling, we're almost done. Final, eight, one leg or two, it doesn't matter, just keep moving. Four, three, two, stretch out the legs, shake them out. Woo! All right, we're ready. Let's hit the core. Let's hit the core. Let's give your butt a break. So when you're ready, heels down, feet flat, fingers and temples in crunch, up and down. Breathe out, breathe in. Just like that, 15 minutes of butt training done. So we gotta focus on the guts now. We might bring everything together at the end. All right, let's talk about a good crunch. Tuck your chin so you're looking right between your knees. Elbows are super wide. And your shoulder blades lift up off the floor. All right, two pulses with a reach. One, two, lower down. One, two, lower down. The main thing is that you don't want your chin up going to really strain the neck. So anytime, if you just need to stop because your abs are burning, you need to shake it out. That's okay. You'll recover quickly. Get back when you, when you can. Throw your hands across the room. All right. Let's have a good time now. Hold it up. Tuck your chin. Lift your knees and pulse. Now, if this bothers you, set your feet on the floor. Just try your best to stay moving the ribs all the way to your head bones. All right, legs to the ceiling, reach, breathe. Again, just like the bridges, focus on lifting, not dropping. Bend the knees to 90, reach, reach. Don't forget, you gotta breathe. Now let's challenge your legs straight out to 45. I know, I know, it's okay. Bend the knees if that feels better, or take the legs higher. Bend the knees, everybody. Eight, seven, six, five, all right, before we recover, let's do eight more toes to the ceiling. Reach up. Tuck in, tuck in. Four, three, two, drop, recover. Woo. So you should feel it right through the midsection. That's the right feeling. So if you need, again, find length through the body. Stretch out. All right, take your knees, bring them in close, but walk your feet out wider. So it almost looks like you have a W shape. We're just gonna swivel and reach side to side. So the shoulder blades are off the ground, chin is tucked. And as you reach down along the side of your shoe, squeeze into the side waist. If you need a break again, just drop, recover, jump in. Now keep going. I want you to see how far down on the logo of your shoe can you reach and touch. How far? Challenge yourself. Make sure what you do on the right is on the left the same. Eight, seven, six, five. Can you go all the way down to your baby toe? Can you reach that far? Recover. Woo! I know. Grab a weight. It doesn't matter if you don't have one, you don't need one. But we're going to integrate some upper body training while we continue to shape the core. Walk your feet out, heels down, toes up, two pulses behind you. Sit up. And then roll back. Two pulses. Exhale. All right, so what's great about this is if you have problems doing a full sit up, you can always crunch up. But sometimes using the weight is going to help with momentum. So I want you to focus on not just lifting, but really resist it down. All right, can you lift up to the sky? Push up, roll back. So again, hollow out the belly as you lift and hollow out the belly as you lower. Whew. So don't be surprised tomorrow if not just your butt and your guts are sore. The triceps and your lats might feel this as well. All right, everybody. Roll back, pulse only. 
pulse, pulse. Can you anchor your shoulders down? Now keep pulsing, can you extend the legs out? If not, keep them grounded. Three, two, one, recover. Good work, all right, both weights. Elbows wide, tuck your chin, just a chest press. Push up, lower down. So on the way down, you just wanna feel your triceps and elbows softly touch the floor. Again, if you don't have any resistance, just keep moving your arms as if you did. All right, sit up a crunch. Breathe out, breathe in. So you might wanna slow this down. Here's a great option if you're not doing a sit up. Again, you've got control, both as you rise and as you lower. Now try this, breathe out as you lift. Hold it up, hold it up. All right, hug your hollow off the belly slightly. Can you lift your feet off the ground? Balance, draw your belly button in, shoulders up the ears. Just shoulder press, down and up. So if you need an option, set your feet to the floor or lose the weight. I know, can you pull your knees in closer? Drop, lay to your side. Hang it in, it's a good workout, right? Roll to your side, roll to your side. It doesn't matter which side. So here's an option if you've got a mat and your floor is a little bit hard, right here, roll your mat over. Drop to the knee, lift your hips, side hover, reach up. Press your forearm into the floor, squeeze your butt forward, make sure your hips and shoulders are square to us, pulse. All right, let's show some love to our love handles. Kind of you love these side bends, don't you? These side hovers. I wonder how Pam's doing out there. Surely she's hanging in. All right, now, who's up for the challenge? Adrian? Adrian? All right, try to straighten both legs. Scissor legs. Keep pulsing, keep squeezing. Up and hold. Hold. Now, focus on the lift. Drop to the bottom knee if you need. Okay, your final eight pulses. Just lift, lift. Press that form in. That's gonna help strengthen the rotator cuff, even in this position. Two, one, change sides. All right, so again, it's all about being balanced. Knee to start. Line your body up, squeeze your hips forward. As you fatigue, we tend to roll forward, so keep it lifted. All right, we're in, let's go. See, you've already forgot about your butt burning. Remember when your legs are about to fall off in those little pulse lunges? You've already forgot. Until tomorrow. <laughs> All right, if you're ready, scissor. You pick the level. Just remember, train smart. Okay, breathe. Final eight, seven, four, three, two, hold. Drop. Great job. All right, flip over. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Let's start on our knees in hover position. Your knuckles glued together. Lift your belly. All right, now this is a great option you can stay with. Just make sure you don't have saggy hips or a massive round in the back. Everything's level. Tuck under your toes, level two, knees up. Now take your belly button, pull it up. I want you to hover forward, and then I want you to push back. So hover forward onto your tippy toes and press your heels back. So it's just like you're gliding. Pressing your forearms down into the floor. Four left. Keeping your eyes forward versus underneath you. And your last one. Good, drop to the knees. Sit back. Tuck your chin. Good stuff. Hands under shoulders. Lift your belly. All right, key is alignment. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, straight line. You can stay here, belly's engaged, or come on up to plank.
shoulders out of your ears. Lift your belly. Option, drop to knees. Walk your feet out, out, in, in. Now try your best not to bounce the body. So if you're on your knees, I just want you to hold here. Focus on control. Shoulders settle out of ears. Maybe you recover and then you get back in. Alternate with legs. Four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Lay on your backs. Lay on your backs. No equipment needed. Roll down. All right, so if you want to cross your ankles, that's fine. But here's the challenge. I want to focus on the lower abdominal portion. So try to keep your heels close to your butt. Squeeze and release. Now what's going to happen is you're going to want to use momentum to lift your heels. It's a small bit though. So keep your shoulders down and just bring your knees to your chin versus toes to the ceiling. And what I want you to do is I want you to feel those lower abs engaging to pull your knees in. Feel the difference? All right, take your legs to the ceiling now, and we're gonna change it. Arms can be out or down. Lift up, toes to ceiling. So a bigger move. So I don't just want you to lift up, but I want you to really fight gravity on the way down. Right, gravity's gonna to just make you crash. So control as you lower, squeeze as you lift. All right, final four. Press those shoulders down one more time. All right, take your hands up, tuck your chin, just like we started, pulse, pulse, pulse. Try your best to keep your shoulder blades up. Legs to 45, or keep them straight up. Bend the knees to 90 and reach forward. Set your feet to floor, palms together, and pulse between your knees. Three, two, shake it out, stretch. Arms all the way behind you. Get as long as you can. Shoulders settle out of the ears. Ooh. All right, pick a leg, take it up to the ceiling, pull your toes down, and stretch out through those hamstrings. See how far back you can pull. Good. Switch. That feel good, ladies? Yeah. All right. It does feel great. Come on around. Let's continue to stretch. So hands over your shoulders. Pick a leg behind you. And then bring your other knee right between your arms. Start here. So tomorrow when your butt's sore, this is your stretch. You can extend it out if that feels better. Switch legs, hands under your shoulders, swap out. All right, let's talk about how often should you do this workout? Every other day would be fine, right? Do some cardio, maybe you go for a run today, maybe you hit the trail. This would be a great addition to the cardio workout that you've done. Good, all right, hands under your shoulders, legs behind you, drop your hips and just open up. Feel your rib cage opening as your hips press down. Awesome stretch to those abdominal muscles. And rise up. That's it, everybody. 30 minutes of butts and guts. Thanks to the crew. We miss you guys. We hope you have a great workout. Try to get this in a couple days this weekend. Let us know what you think. Take care. Have a great week.